What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really interesting video for you, building upon my existing FFmpeg series. So of course you'll need FFmpeg installed and if you don't know what that is, check the description down below for a video on doing that. Basically, to check if you have it installed, hold start, press R, type in CMD and hit enter. Then when you see this window pop up, type in FFmpeg as such and if you see a response like this, then great, you have it installed. However, if you see something like this saying FFmpeg is not recognized as an internal or external command, then you don't have it installed. But either way, because I do have it installed, I can proceed with this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and open up a folder with a video file inside of it. As such, this video file over here is 16 minutes and 23 seconds long. If I center it over here, you can see it's 1623, just of Call of Duty gameplay. So nothing too fancy, but of course it does have three audio streams, the game sound, discord and the rest, and my microphone sound over here, output 1, 2, 3, 4 and microphone. So how exactly do we automatically split this up into something like 5 minute files so we can go ahead and use it elsewhere as we please? Well of course there's multiple different ways of doing it and one of the most common would probably be using a video editor to render out each of them separately, but of course that is going to take quite a lot of time. Using FFmpeg, you do have a lot more control over it, and it will usually be a ton faster than any other methods. So how exactly do we begin to split this into 5 minute equal segments, with the last fourth segment being a minute 23, meaning we have 15 minutes of 5 minute segments and another minute 23 to fill up the whole 1623. Well, the first thing we need to do is head across to the folder with the video file inside of it, and at the very top over here, we'll click there and type in CMD. Then a command prompt window will open inside of the folder that we're in. As you can see, H split, and over here we're in H split. I'll go ahead and move this just a bit down so we can see the files appear as I create them. Then I'll go ahead and type in ffmpeg space hyphen I, meaning input, space open quotation marks, and I'll type in 2 to select the file that we have over here. Of course, it'll be the first letter or whatever you want, and we'll hit tab to autofill the rest of it. If there's multiple similarly named files, you'll need to hit tab a bunch, and the more letters you type in from the beginning, the quicker it'll find this specific file. However, of course, you can copy and paste the entire file name yourself. Either way, with that aside, I'll press space, hyphen C, space copy, space hyphen map, space zero, meaning that we're gonna copy all of the audio and video tracks, and we're gonna map them to exactly where they were before. So if we miss out on including this map command over here, we'll only have certain audio tracks and not all of them. But if we make sure to have map zero, it means that yes, we can copy all of the audio and video tracks as they are. Then we get to the interesting part, space hyphen segment underscore time, and then we can enter how long we want each segment to be in the format of hour hour colon minute, minute, colon, the second, second. Over here in the minutes, I'm gonna make sure it's 05, meaning five minutes. So zero, zero hours, colon, zero, five minutes, colon, zero, zero seconds. And I'll go to the end of the line, space, hyphen, F, segment, meaning that we wanna break up the video file, space, hyphen, reset, underscore, timestamps, space, one. If you miss out on this command over here, the first couple of seconds of your split videos may look a little bit weird because it doesn't copy across the keyframe. Of course, if you don't know how videos work, keyframes are basically still images that video files tell where each pixel moves. If you miss out on it, that's when you get that really distorted color breaking sort of thing that happens with videos. And then we include the name of the output file. So space, and we'll call it output.mkv, which is the same format as the mkv we put into it. However, of course, if we have only one file name at the end over here, it'll write every single segment into this one single file, meaning that it will only end up with the last segment as this file and nothing else. How exactly do we fix that? Well, right before the final dot over here, we'll go ahead and enter percentage 03D, meaning that we're gonna increment a number over here for each and every segment. Then I'll hit enter and it'll automatically begin processing the files. Now I haven't sped this up at all. I'm gonna keep it probably at the full normal speed just to show you exactly how fast this works. Over here we have a speed estimate of how fast compared to real time it's working. 
and right now it's copying it at about 43 times real time. However, I am copying to the same SSD. If I was copying from one hard disk to an SSD or one SSD to another SSD, this would be even faster than it is already. However, of course, you can see it's already done. We have three stream outputs, followed by one last one over here. And if we have a look inside of the folder, we have 0, 1, 2, 3. And of course, you can name it however you'd like. However, you can see length, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 minute 23 seconds, which is the total of 1623. So if we open up the original video file, we have it at 1623 long. Let's go ahead and open up output triple zero, which is the first five minute segment. Centering it, we have five minutes of video here. Then output one is the exact same. We have the next five minutes of video. Output two, we have the next five minutes of video. And over here as the final one, output three, we have the last minute 20 something of video. Last minute and 23 seconds. You can see the video is a bit jumpy, but that's because it's jumpy in my original recording over here and not because of FFmpeg. This is the best sized video that I had to show as an example here. So this is what I used. Either way, as you can see the video file copied properly. If we open up the original video file and we right click anywhere on the image, go to audio, Audio track, you can see we have output 1, 2, which is the game sound, output 3, 4, which is Discord and the rest, and microphone, which is my microphone. If we open up the next video file over here, say output 1, which is the second 5 minute segment, if we right click on the video, go to audio, audio track, you can see we have the exact same audio tracks over here. And assuming that we had multiple video tracks, they would also be copied across as they were before, which is super, super useful and incredibly quick compared to other methods that I know of. Either way, without dragging this video on too unnecessarily long, that has been about it for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobe here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.